Welcome all to Wondershare Recover It, a platform where we can help you tackle unexpected technical errors and recover any lost data during the process. We're back with another useful video, and this one's going to be a little bit different. Because with the holiday season at its peak, people have started spending more and more time on their laptops and their PCs, either binge-watching Netflix series or playing their favourite games that have been sitting on a hard drive for ages. However, if you don't have a high-end system, this heavy usage can lead to unexpected crashes such as BSOD or the blue screen of death. And even though BSOD automatically resolves itself in every situation, it does create memory dump files on your hard drive that eat up a significant amount of storage space. And when there are too many of these memory dump files on your hard drive, you most likely end up running out of storage. So in this video, we'll be discussing how to find and delete these memory dump files within Windows so that you can keep your system running at an optimal speed. But before diving into that, make sure you click the subscribe button to the channel so that you never miss any future updates. Now, some of you might not be familiar with the concept of memory dump files, so allow me to give you a quick rundown. A memory dump file basically contains a copy of your system's entire memory when it crashed unexpectedly. The file normally contains data such as what processes were running, any background actions, and other information that the system could find useful in evaluating what the main reason of the crash was. Now, based on the severity of the system crash, a dump file could be anything up to around a gig in file size. Now, in general, we can group memory dump files into one of three categories. A complete memory dump file, which contains the entire copy of your system's memory, including background and running processes. Now, complete memory dump files have the largest file size, mainly due to their extensive data. Then there's kernel memory dumps, which, as the name suggests, only stores information relative to kernel memory. It doesn't actually have anything to do with the physical memory of your system, and that's why they're comparatively much smaller in size. And then finally, we have small memory dump files, which are lightweight dump files that only contain limited information with a file size of only around 128 kilobytes. Now, these files can only be used to evaluate factors such as what triggered the system crash, but can't actually debug the problem. So now that you're familiar with what memory dump files are, let's take a look at the different ways that you can delete them to free up some storage space. The easiest way to remove memory dump files from your system is to use the disk cleanup utility, which is a common utility that many Windows users use to remove junk files from the hard drive and generally speed up the processing. However, disk cleanup utility can also be used to remove memory dump files from your Windows computer. So to do this, open the Cortana search box and type disk cleanup and then tap on the first result. The disk cleanup window will appear on your screen. Here, tap the clean up system files option. Then select the checkbox next to system error memory dump files and click OK. Now the system will automatically delete the memory dump files and you'll see the freed up storage space on your hard drive. Another way to delete Windows memory dump files is to use the extended disk cleanup. This is very similar to the traditional disk cleanup, but it thoroughly scans your hard drive to remove all memory dump files. Start by pressing the Windows and X key and then select command prompt and run as administrator. In the command prompt window, type cmd.exe slash c clean mgr slash sage set colon 65535 and clean mgr slash stage run colon 65535 and press enter. Now repeat the same process that we've just discussed earlier with the disk cleanup and make sure the command prompt window is active in the background when this process is happening. Speaking of command prompt, you can directly use the CMD window to delete memory dump files. To do this, again, open the command prompt as administrator to get started, and then type del forward slash f forward slash s forward slash q percentage sign system root percentage sign backslash mini dump 
backslash star dot star and hit enter to execute the command. Now, wait a few seconds and all of the memory dump files will get deleted automatically. Now, in case you're tired of dealing with memory dump files due to too many crashes, you can also configure your system to stop saving them onto your hard drive by turning off write debugging. However, if you do this, you will never be able to diagnose what actually caused your system crash and how to avoid it in the future. But if you choose to proceed, then follow these steps to turn off the write debugging on your hard drive. Head to the Windows menu and open Settings. Then click on System, and on the left side, click on About. Now over on the right side, click Advanced System Settings. In the tab that opens, select Startup and Recovery, and then under Right Debugging Information, select None from the drop-down box and press OK. This will turn off the right debugging on your system and it will no longer create memory dump files. So that's going to wrap up this video on how to delete memory dump files from your Windows system and to free up occupied storage space for better performance. Even though memory dump files are pretty useful to diagnose the main causes of unexpected system crashes, they usually occupy too much space on your hard drive. That's why it's always an ideal solution to delete them and ensure your system delivers an optimal performance. So if you found this video helpful, drop us a like and let us know in the comment section if you face any issues. And to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.